The demo story you just saw was all made using Higgsfield Popcorn, a brand new AI tool that can generate up to eight scenes at once from just one image and prompt. Think of it as your storyboard creator, image editor, and scene director, all in one. What makes it truly amazing is that it keeps your characters, objects, and backgrounds perfectly consistent across all your scenes. It's like having Nano, Banana, and Sora combined, but this time you have full creative control. Now, let me show you exactly how it works. First, click the link in the description to access Higgsfield AI. This tool takes AI image and movie scene generation to the next level. With just one image and a short prompt, it can create complete and visually connected story sequences. On the website, you'll also find tools to create or edit images, videos, and even work with popular AI models, all in one place. If you're new to Higgsfield, make sure to use the link below to create your free account before continuing. All right, once you've logged in, our first step is to write the main story script. To do this, we'll use ChatGPT. But before writing the script, we need some story ideas. So, head over to our free Discord server and copy the first story idea prompt. This prompt gives you three story ideas, each with a title, short summary, and character descriptions. Take a moment to read them and choose the one that inspires you the most. Next, go back to Discord, copy the second story creation prompt, and paste it into ChatGPT. Then, take your chosen story idea and insert it into the prompt. This prompt helps ChatGPT turn your idea into a detailed cinematic story, about three minutes long, with around four main scenes. After you've read through the story and are happy with it, it's time to plan your visuals. To do that, copy the third prompt from Discord and paste it into ChatGPT. This one asks ChatGPT to tell you how many images you'll need for each scene. The AI will give you a simple table with scene numbers, descriptions, image counts, and the purpose of each image. This step is super important because it helps you organize your project before moving into popcorn, making your creative workflow faster and more efficient. You'll see why this preparation matters in the next step. All right, now that we've prepared everything, it's time to start generating our images and videos. But before that, the very first thing we need to do is create our main characters. So, to make our characters, we'll be using Higgsfield's image generator. I started by clicking on image, then selected Seed Ream 4.0, one of the best models for creating detailed, high-quality characters. Once the interface opens, you'll see a text box. Here, we need to describe our character's appearance, which we got earlier from the first prompt in ChatGPT. Simply copy the appearance of your main character, for example, the male character, and paste it in. Next, describe the visual style you want. For example, I typed 3D Pixar-style animated character to get that bright, cinematic look. If you already have a reference photo, you can upload it here. This step is optional but helpful for keeping your design consistent. After that, choose your image generator model, image quality, aspect ratio, and number of images. If you select unlimited, you can generate images without using credits, which means you can create them for free. Once everything is set, just click generate. Now repeat these same steps for your other characters. After a few tries, you'll get several results. Pick the one that matches your vision best. For me, this one turned out perfectly, so that's the version I downloaded and saved for the next step. Now that we have our main character image, we can move on to the exciting part, creating full scenes using multiple image prompts, all built from that one character image. To do this, open Higgsfield Popcorn. This tool lets you generate up to eight connected images from a single image or text prompt. Once you open Popcorn, you'll notice it has two main modes, Auto Mode and Manual Mode. In Auto Mode, simply upload up to four images and write one prompt. Popcorn automatically creates up to eight consistent shots with the same characters, backgrounds, and lighting. On the other hand, Manual Mode gives you full creative control. You can write a unique prompt for each shot, adjust scenes, and fine-tune every detail. This mode is great if you want to design your story shot by shot with total freedom and precision. All right, before we start creating, we need one more important thing, the prompts. These prompts will guide Higgsfield Popcorn to create the exact images and animations we want. So, to make things easier, I've already prepared a special prompt for this step. Just copy that prompt and paste it into ChatGPT. But before you click Generate, go back to the first scene description and the purpose of each image that we created earlier using the third prompt. Copy those details and paste them inside this new prompt. This method helps ChatGPT give you accurate image prompts and animation descriptions for every shot in your scene. It even includes sound effect suggestions and visual motion ideas, so your final result feels more cinematic and alive. Once ChatGPT finishes, you'll have a complete 
complete set of detailed prompts ready for your first scene. Now it's time to create our images. Let's start with auto mode, and then later, I'll show you how manual mode works so you can compare both methods. In auto mode, you don't need to describe every single image separately. Instead, use one single prompt that summarizes your entire first scene. For now, I copy the first scene description from our full story script and paste it into the text box. Next, click the plus icon, upload the animated character image we created earlier, choose the number of images we want, select the aspect ratio, and finally click generate. That's it. Popcorn automatically creates multiple consistent shots in seconds. However, sometimes you might want more creative control over each shot. That's when we use manual mode. Here, you'll describe what you want for each image individually. This is where those detailed image prompts from ChatGPT come in handy. Go back to ChatGPT, copy all six image prompts for your first scene, and paste them one by one into Popcorn. Take a moment to check for any small errors or spelling issues and fix them before generating. Once everything looks good, click Generate. One thing to note, this model can be a bit sensitive with child characters, so it works best with adult or young adult characters. Keep that in mind while designing your story. When the images are ready, you'll notice that all your shots stay perfectly consistent. The same character design, clothing, colors, and background flow across every frame. If your first generation doesn't turn out quite right, don't worry, just try again. Every new generation gives slightly different results, and often, you'll find the next set looks even better. Once you've completed your first scene, repeat the same process for scene two and the remaining scenes. Now that we've created all our images, the next step is to animate them. To begin, click on any image, then click the three dots and select Animate. This opens the video section inside Higgs Field. You'll see a list of powerful animation models here, such as Sora 2, VO 3.1, Kling, Wan, and Minimax. Each has its own unique style, but I personally like using Sora 2 and Google VO3 because they automatically generate sound that matches the animation. That saves you a lot of time later. So, I'll select Sora 2, and from the model section, I'll choose OpenAI Sora 2 Pro. Next, copy the animation description for Scene 1, Shot 1 from ChatGPT, and paste it into the text box. Then, set the duration, resolution, and aspect ratio for your animation. Once everything looks good, click Generate. Here's the result from Shot 1. You can see a small plane cutting through a dense storm as the camera slowly pans to follow its shaky flight path. The animation even includes perfectly synced sound effects. You can hear the storm and the engine noise blend naturally with the visuals. Repeat these steps for the rest of your shots and scene. Animate all the images we created earlier. When each animation is complete, click Download to save it to your computer. Once all your clips are ready, it's time for the final edit using CapCut. Import all your clips into the timeline, then arrange them in order from start to finish. If you want to make your story flow more more like a real movie, you can split clips and place parts of one scene between another. This helps create smooth transitions and makes your animation feel dynamic and cinematic. Once clips are arranged, you can add transitions between them for a seamless flow. After that, one of the most important steps is to add background music and sound effects. Go to the audio section in CapCut and search for sound effects that fit your scenes, like wind, footsteps, or ambient background sounds. You can drag and drop them directly onto your timeline. If you want to go a step further, you can use tools like Eleven Lab Studio to create unique AI-generated sound effects that match your video perfectly. But for this tutorial, I'm keeping it simple and using CapCut's built-in sound effects and music. Finally, you can enhance your video by adding filters, effects, or lighting adjustments to match your story's mood. Once you're happy with the final result, click export and your cinematic video is ready. Hold on. Ugh.
And there you have it. That's how you can use Higgsfield popcorn to transform a single image into a fully animated cinematic sequence, and then polish everything inside CapCut for a professional finish. With just a few smart prompts and the right tools, you can turn your ideas into short animated films that look and sound amazing. If you're interested in trying out this amazing tool, you can get the Higgsfield AI paid plan for just $10 a month. And if you choose the annual plan, you'll get a 40% discount. You'll find the link to Higgsfield popcorn in the description below. If you need any help, feel free to join our Discord or Telegram group. It's the perfect place to ask questions, share your creations, and connect with other creators who can help you make even better videos. Plus, you'll find all the AI tools and the exact prompts we used in this tutorial, so you can try them out yourself. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.